टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अबाउट स्टीम सेपरेटर सो वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजमेंट एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड फंक्शन लोकेशन कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्किंग मॉडल एंड एनिमेशन ऑफ द स्टीम सेपरेटर these are the different boiler accessories and here you can see this steam separator is also one of the boiler accessories so it is one of the boiler accessories so you can understand it is not compulsory part of the boiler but it is used to increase efficiency of boiler now let's start with the function of steam separator it separates water particles from the steam before it is supplied to a steam engine or turbine and so that it is also known as moisture separator or steam dryer so name itself indicate it separate the moisture or water particles or you can say it makes the steam dry importance of the steam separator it is important to remove water from the steam because water droplets in steam reduces the thermal efficiency water may accumulate in the cylinder and cause hydrostatic lock that damages to the engine in thermal power plants water droplets in high velocity steam from the nozzles erode turbine blades also now the location of the steam separator and here you can see both are the steam separator a steam separator is placed near the engine here you can see this one is the steam turbine means engine and near to steam engine separators are placed to remove water particles from the steam as completely as possible before supplying to the steam turbine now the construction of the steam separator there are different types of the steam separators a separator with baffle plates is shown in this figure so this is called as the baffle type steam separator it consists of a cylindrical vessel here you can see the vessel is fitted with baffle plates here you can see these are the baffle plates a water gauge is fitted to indicate the water collected in the separator this is the water a drain wall is provided to discharge water from the vessel there are two steam pipes here you can see both are connected to the vessel as shown in figure so the construction is very simple you can understand from this figure easily now the working of the steam separator the steam is allowed into the separator from the boiler from this input pipe the steam strikes baffle plates and the direction of the flow is change as a result heavier water particles in the steam falls down to the bottom of the separator the separated steam which is free from the water is passed to the turbine or engine through this output pipe the water is collected and is drained out periodically with the help of this valve now let's see the animation of the steam separator so as we have discussed the steam is allowed into the separator from the boiler through this input pipe so here the steam is in wet condition that means the steam having moisture so here you can see the moisture particles are there but due to these baffles the water particles are collected over here at the bottom most part of the vessel and then only the steam without water particles will flow through this output pipe and that will be supplied to the turbine more images of the steam separator so this one is the model of the steam separator and here you can understand this is the input supply 
that means the weight steam is supplied to the steam separator with the help of these baffles the water droplets will be collected at the bottommost part of the steam separator and that will be periodically discharged with the help of the drain valves and from here you can collect the dry steam more image of the steam separator here this one is the real image of the steam separator in the power plant if you want to see more engineering videos then subscribe my youtube channel and go to playlist thanks my dear friends press the like button to appreciate this video